Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. The City Ethics Commission has forced Councilmember Rod Tam to pay back the city $11,700. This after an ethics investigation found Tam improperly billed city taxpayers for meals for himself, his business associates, and his family members. Tam also has been fined $2,000 for the ethics violation. Tam spoke out about it for the first time today. As KITV4's Demby Fawcett tells us, Tam says he's done nothing wrong, and he says he's being targeted. He says the real problem is the rules on how council allowances can be spent are just too vague. The ethics investigation found Rod Tam from 2006 to 2009 wrongly spent more than $10,000 from his contingency allowance on meals, submitting false receipts, and claiming some meals were related to his city duties when they were actually to treat business associates and family members. Tam says his family members are his constituents. Do you have to have these meals, though? I mean, even your family members, you could have met with them in the home. Do you have to always take people out for meals? I've always done business like this in terms of getting, in terms of hospitality. That's Hawaii, aloha spirit. Tam submitted a receipt for a meal at Kabuki Restaurant, supposedly with two state officials, when a credit card receipt shows it was a Valentine's dinner with his wife. That was official business. Tam submitted a receipt for a dinner at Kabuki Restaurant for $101 October 13, 2008, to discuss, quote, Asian countries' economies. But the restaurant says it has no record of Tam paying for a meal that day. And I admit that there were uh, math errors, right, like I said. Tam did admit he probably shouldn't have charged the city for a meal here at the Empress Restaurant in Chinatown, saying it was for a crime in Chinatown meeting when he was actually taking his family out to dinner. Tam says he has no intention of resigning, as Council Member Charles DeJou has urged. Now, Denby, this is Rod Tam's last year on the council. He can't run again because of term limits, but he is running for mayor. So how much does he think this ethics investigation will hurt him? Well, Paula, political analysts say even before, Tam was not considered a front-runner in the mayor's race, but now with these ethics charges, it could be very damaging to him. But Tam told me he doesn't think the ethics probe will hurt him at all because he's been so forthcoming and responding to it. He says his supporters have urged him to keep in the mayor's race, and he says he's going to do just that. Back to you, Paula. All right. Thank you very much, Denby.